Hey everybody, this is Crazy with Crazy Gaming, and we're back for another episode of Occupy Mars. Oh, look at the ground. What a trip. <laughs> that's, oh, that's too funny, which is what really causes, causes the lag for me, I think. Anyway, so, we are currently at a spot where there is water and oxygen. I needed to do that. Off camera, I did quite a bit of traveling. Water refilled. Water refilled. Everything's refilled from here. So, that over the horizon that I'm looking straight at behind this, this little mountain here, that is Olympus Mon, and we went there uh, yesterday. I did end up getting the achievement for it. There is a second tunnel in there. Now, we had been over there before, and we found that tunnel. It was really a long, deep tunnel. And we never even went to the end of that had all kinds of uranium in it and stuff. Um, <clears throat> the uranium will come in handy when we finally are able to unlock the... Where is it at? Kilowatt power. Now, uranium right here is required to make the uranium rod, which feeds the kilowatt power machine, this one here. We have unlocked the blueprint for it, but it does no good because it is a work in progress. And it trips me out that this one won't require an unlock, but it is a work in progress as well. So no long, no, no way of knowing how long that's going to be. Of course, we unlocked a bunch of stuff. We have the big antenna unlocked. We have the medium antenna unlocked i think yes and we pretty much have everything unlocked here we didn't get the blueprint yet for the auto cleaning but it doesn't matter it's under construction or whatever work in progress and so the basically the electrical once we get back to the base we can do this one and this one and that will complete this whole tree it will have been completed except for, of course, the stuff that we can't use. So I'm kind of interested in getting back to the base so I can do that. This one here, we have big crusher unlocked, so we can do that, which means we can, unlock, we can do the hangar, and we have the teleportation vehicles unlocked, and, and we have the main HQ unlocked. So the electrical will also be done we also unlocked oh no we need the the blueprint for the pump tension pump extension but i don't know if those are going to count or not i'm curious about that i guess we'll find out but otherwise we have the all this the stuff that we can't actually use or access all that stuff's unlocked now and the materials as well mechanics we have a point for the mechanics but i'm kind of trying to remember what I was saving it for the meteor defense or the jet pack. And there's the ATV rocket engine. So if we do the jet pack, we can do the engine for the ATV, which I don't know that I'm really interested in that. We can unlock the welder now. We also did the automatic rock lifting. This is going to be huge. I really want to get that done. So I might consider doing the welder, which kind of is useless to us at this point until we get the big we have the big dome unlocked but we you know building one is kind of what's the point we need trees to plant in it anyways but we do have the blueprint for the this automatic rock which will help us in the mining and then of course everything else is the work in progress so we pretty much have all of this done as well we have all the blueprints we need for this one. Anyway, and then there is botany. Our botany tree <clears throat> is looking okay. Now we're missing this one, the blueprint for passive compost generator. I'd really like to get that one because that's huge because it will fill our composter for us. And we won't really have to worry about bringing poop from the toilet over there as much. There's the medium dones unlocked. And we need the blueprint for the large dome. So we need those two blueprints. This one and this one. T 
to complete that. So we still have some stuff to do. Oxygen source external. But uh, for now, we're going to head back to the base. Which our base is back the other way. Let me see what our power looks like. I forgot to look at that. Now, our power is really low. I was going to set up power to charge, but I think we have enough to make it back to the base. <clears throat> the only thing is, is we'll be stuck there for a bit because it's going to take a while to fully charge this thing again. But mostly we just needed to get some water. And so that's why we came back here. So we're going to go back past Olympus Mon. It'll give you a better chance to see it. Now, the, the second cave we discovered, which leads, we drove to the top of it. And there's a huge, huge, deep, 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 huge, deep crater up there. <clears throat> and it's accessed from the cave. And the, so the second cave we found actually is massive. It's big enough that you can actually drive the ATV in it. I mean, it's really big. And you could actually drive the ATV all the way over. I don't know if I've searched these bases or not. You can drive the ATV all the way over to uh, up in, into the crater that we walked it yesterday we ran through the cave to go do that there's there's an opening here that's the cave that's the cave that's massive i want to show it to you real quick before we head to the house just so you can get an idea of what it looks like but this cave as you can see it's in this valley right here the other cave is not in a valley it's just been along an open area and i believe it's on the exact opposite side of this one not absolutely positive of that, but I think so. But I'm going to pull up here real quick so we can jump in and take a look. What time is it? It's early. So I'm going to jump off here, and I'll show you guys what this cave looks like. So the cave we went into last time, if you remember, was small. As a matter of fact, we had to kind of duck down to get through it in the beginning of it. But this one is not like that. It is massive. And you could actually drive. I could probably drive the rover in here, actually. I think the rover would actually fit. I'm worried about that height right here in this first section, but I doubt it. I think you could actually drive in here with the rover and drive up to the crater. It's that big. But anyways, you definitely could get in here with the ATV. So if you came over with the ATV, you could do that. But we need to get back to the base, so <clears throat> we're going to head back. And then we're not going to hang out too long. As soon as this thing's fully recharged, we're going to take back off again and go back out. And we're going to go out and actually do the actual searching for the... the... Um, the seeds that we want, the trees and all that stuff. Now that we can build the medium dome, we can we can plant you know quite a few trees in there and that's going to be something that's something we haven't been able to do yet and so that'll be nice i don't know if that gives us achievement or not and it's really not that important and i don't really do a lot of this stuff just because of the achievements some of the achievements i get just by accident because i'm not really paying attention but uh, uh, excuse me but anyway yeah so there is another cave on this mountain, and it is way smaller, but, I mean, in diameter, but it is really, really super, it's way deeper than that one is. And I ran up in that cave when we had discovered it back a few episodes back, and just really, really, man, went way in there, and it got to the point where I had to turn around because I would run out of food and water in there if I had stayed in any longer I had to turn around and head back and so my water was actually in the red or no dark orange you can drive up these I could drive up right here but there's really no point we're going to come back again in another episode and we will explore to the top of that again so that you guys can see what that looks like on top but it is pretty this place this Olympus Mon is probably the biggest mountain in the game it's massive as you will see as we start to head back to our base because 
once we turn this curve right here it goes on for a long ways in that direction there and then wraps all the way around the other side but it takes quite a while to get around the whole thing it's really big and i believe the cave that we uh found the first time i think is back around that other side right there to my right because it's kind of more in line with where we would have been traveling from from the base because we are um a long way from the area that we were traveling in when we discovered that first cave that we were way out in the direction straight ahead of me like way out there that's where you can see and we came upon it coming in that direction so this is this really rough terrain here that i'm going through with this um really hard on the rover but i'm trying to get take the shortest distance possible to get back and it could we could end up finding ourselves in trouble because this ground is just it really sucks as you can see it's just horrible terrain to travel through and it's like a whole big area out here that's like this i don't know what the point of that is or why they built this terrain like this it kind of hinders the game really a lot Woo! we're getting air on that one it's a good thing we have these big bubble tires on here to kind of cushion our landing when we come across stuff like this road we're getting ready to hit right here on the left this lag just killing me so, yeah, I've posted about the performance issues and stuff. I haven't really heard anything back from the devs. Because I think, you know, they're they're probably aware of it and are, work, you know, working on it or whatever. So hopefully in the next patch we get, it will address that and put us back to where it was before. Because I played this game all the way up until that update with no problems. I was, man, I was killing it. The game, ran, the game ran very smooth. There was no issues, no no lagging, no performance stuff, nothing. And it's, I guess, every time, you know, in most of the games that I play in, that I have played in, that require huge or massive amounts of memory to deal with the small details of like mapping and things, this is not good. I don't want to hit that rock. Ugh deal with the mapping and stuff because some when, when you make maps intricate with lots of different physics in it like this one has it, it really puts a task it puts a toll on the the gpu and on the cpu and depending on how you have your system set up it can really make it even worse but this we're really i've gone back through and tried to change some settings in my uh in my um performance settings to try to kind of without taking away from my settings in the game which are all on ultra and, and it's honestly it's made me think about you know dropping down the settings maybe some so that it's not so taxing but i'm not really wanting to do that you know i mean i, I paid a lot of money for the computer I, you know, so that I could have high performance, and, and so the game needs to change, not me. And so they hopefully will deal with the performance issues, because like I said, it ran perfectly for me. But anytime you add stuff to a game, it can, you know, certain things, you know, you, they may find that really tax performance in a game. And so they have to find a workaround for that. And so that's what they probably are doing, because I'm sure I'm not the only one. I've seen people in my... And, and posts you know comments in my game that have said that they've experienced the same thing and i've s searched the web and found quite a few people that have the same problem with performance most of them just dialing down their settings to deal with it but i'm not going to do that i'm not sacrificing my settings it's not me that needs to change it's the game that's just the way it is i'm not complaining about the devs i think they've done an awesome job i really like the game so it's not about that for me but Like I said, I'm not, I'm not dialing my settings back. I'm not gonna do it. Not when I know how this game can run. Anyways, that being said, 
you know, I, when I edit my videos and stuff, the editing software I use and stuff usually picks up a lot of the issues with the performance and auto adjusts for that. And so my videos don't look that laggy or they don't look as bad as what I go through in the game. But, oh, look at that. Familiar territory. There's our little base cave there that we can't do anything inside of. Now, there we go. There was another one. See, I got this, like, it's like a, it's like we're in a time machine, and I'm over here one second, and then I'm way over here the next. You know, it's just, it kind of really blows. But we got a lot of fun stuff to do at the base, because we're going to do all those updates in the, on the desks in here, the workbenches and stuff, and so hopefully, and then we're going to get this thing charged up. So we can go right back out. And we're going to go way in the heck back out there. And we're going to travel right back in the same direction that we were going. Because we have a bunch of water wells set up all over the place. That we can utilize and it'll be nice. Alright, so where are we at? And to see, oh, there it is. Okay, so we're on the right side. For the charging button. We're going to park this right here. Okay. So, we also have a ton of stuff up here that we need to bring inside. So, that's stuff we can work on while we're here as well. But before I do anything, I want to get this machine charged up. So, we're going to grab this. Another thing we're going to do while we're here is we're going to go ahead and... make some more cord which means we're going to need to find some more silicone all right so let's see what this is looking like yeah see we're at 44 percent so it's really good that we're plugged back in and doing this okay now once we get the the garage that's not what the, it's called on the Tech 3. But once we get the garage built, we connect power up to it. We'll be able to do fast charging in there, which is going to really make a huge difference. Let's go ahead and get a drink. Water refilled. Our oxygen looks pretty good. Could probably use some food. Yeah, so we're all good there. Let's go ahead and do the toilet thing because we're here. Because the more of this we get, the better it's going to be for us. When we go to grow something next time, we might grow something while we're home this time. Ah, oh, come on. Really? Let's flush. Let's grab our stuff. All right. We want to go that way. Let's charge our suit because we have this. We have the ability to do that inside now. That's real, real nice. I just wish they changed the color from light blue like that. That I can't. You know, when it's sometimes it's really hard to see what it's doing without being in a certain direction, so that you can see it, like where it's in the black or darker area. Suit recharged. All right. Pressure. Let's go ahead and go get all that nitrogen that we have in here. In the got five of them. Okay. We also have potatoes that need to go inside. And that was all we found was potatoes. Isn't that just crazy? We have two tablets that we can't use because it keeps telling us that we found everything already. But we have sure have a heck of a lot of circuit boards that we need to transfer in there. We're going to have to do something with all of everything in our bag to be able to move that stuff. It's already starting to get dark. Let's 
Just out of curiosity, I want to see where this tank's at. We're at 3,629 of 16,000. I just really don't see how that you would fill that thing with 16,000. You know, just can't, can't picture it. It's taken weeks, days and days and days and days of in-game time just to get it that much. Alright. So exciting times let's go to the electric bench and let's see what we got unlocked in here let's see so we have six points which means we should be able to do anything we want let's do the medium antenna electricity technology access level increased available point for technological advancement let's do the big antenna Electricity, technology access level increased. Available point for technological advancement. So we got nothing else we can do. We can't do the, it won't let us do this because it says it's a work in progress. So we can't do that. So we got everything unlocked in the electrical tree that we can possibly unlock right now. There's nothing else. So we're pretty much done with this tree. Okay. Next, let's go to the botany. We might as well see what we got in here. We got a bunch of points. I don't know what we have unlocked yet. I forget. Let's see. We need this one. We can do the medium dome. Botany. Technology access level increased. Available point for the, technological advancement. We need the we need the large dome, but yeah, it won't let us use our it won't let us use the Oh well, they're in the they're inside of the What's your mahoom is it? Let's go over here to the printer real quick, get rid of this ore that we have. We might have some. Well, we might be able to make a few of these. Eight hundred and seventy. That'll work. That'll fill us right back up, so that we won't have to worry too much about the electricity for a while all right let's go back over here and then let's do the materials bench see what we got going on here okay so we have the big crusher materials technology access level increased available point for technological advancement we have the hangar. Materials. Technology access level increased. Available point for technological advancement. We have the teleport vehicles. Materials. Technology access level increased. Available point for technological advancement. And we have the main headquarters. Materials. Technology access level increased. Available point for technological advancement. This is going to be nice. Fast travel. That's really going to be nice. That's everything on this one as well. But we have quite a few new things we can do. Come on. Don't flip that on me. Okay. And what do we have over here? This is the workbench, I think. Let's do the mechanics bench. I don't think we have any points on mechanics, though. Oh, yeah, we do. We have one. And that's right. We need to figure out what we want to actually do. We can do the additional controller range. 
We could do the meteor based defense. Warning. Alert. We could do the backpack, the jetpack. Now that we've got the other thing unlocked, I think I want to do the meteor. Mechanics. Technology access level increased. Available point for technological advancement. We need to go out and mine some really serious amount of rocks so that we can unlock warning. the mechanics. What's it warning me about? Check the temperature drop. Okay. So we need to go to sleep. Oh, it's 2100. Let's just put this stuff in here real quick. Why is this at zero? We're not growing anything. We need to add soil in there. We add soil in here with the compost. I think it makes it better. So we're not going to do anything with it. We're just going to store it there because I stored some in there. A sack of like three or four in here, and we made it into compost, and it's gone. So we have nothing running, so I don't understand that. We won't put that in until we need to use it. To make soil, we need, um, well, we're not going to do that right now. We're going to sleep. So let's go sleep. While we sleep, let's check our water. Water refilled. And let's eat. Now we can sleep. Let's sleep till eight because we want to get that recoup for our health and stamina. Oxygen seventy five per cent. Pressure. Water refilled. Pressure. Pressure. I wanted to go that way. Charge our suit. Recharged. Equalizer pressure. Come over here and grab some oxygen real fast. Oxygen refilled. Water refilled. Alright, let's go see what we're doing on as far as our charging. And we need to get some materials because we're going to build us some stuff today. We're going to first of all take down the small rock crusher. And we're going to build the, the large rock crusher. Before we do that, let's see if we can make one of these work because we still need recipes. Passive compost generator. Okay, so we it is unlocking stuff for us again now. Project I will handle with nine two bases and cover to uh since the meter's uh I'm not sure what that is. I think that's where the the one that we want to unlock. So that's good. And then let's do the next one and see if we can get something from it. 
you unlocked all blueprints. So I don't get it. Don't get it. Don't like it. All right. So let's go ahead and grind this down. Then we can build the large rock presser. Wait, before we do that, let's make sure we got room in our inventory. We do. We need to put the potatoes inside. Never seen the large rock pressure before. Kind of curious to see what it looks like. Hopefully we have the materials and we'll be able to build the large rock crusher. Let's see. Meteorite system. There's that. Is that resources maybe? Big rock crusher. Holy cow. <laughs> this thing is big. I will give up that. Oh, geez. Got a crane on it and all kinds of stuff. That looks like a good spot for it. Let's see. Should we shrink it down? Or should we raise it up? Like make it really tall. <laughs> I think this will work. Let's see how fast the tier 3 thing builds this. Man, could you imagine trying to build this with the tier 1 one? <laughs> it would be here for 10 years. Because it's slow with the tier 3 one. We're also going to put down a garage today. But the garage is going to be separate. We're not going to connect it to our buildings. At least I don't think we will. I might have to think about it. Come on. There it goes. Materials. What am I short of? Big circuit board? No problem. Let me just step in my office here real quick. Big crusher, so it takes a big circuit board, I guess. There we go. Let's go see what this thing looks like. I wonder how much juice this thing takes. What the heck is this? This must be something to do with the construction of the rockets or something, I wonder. No energy. 20 kilowatts. Okay. So this one's not going to be an easy fix. Is that? I don't know what that is. This has an open and close. So this must be, let's see what it looks like when it's open. Yeah, okay, so those are there. I'm curious what, oh, we don't have any power, so we can't see. So we need to fix that real quick. And how we're going to do that is, we're going to have to build some stuff. And we're going to probably end up building its own power grid for this and for the, the shop that we're getting ready to build. But for now, let's put down a couple of items. Let's go to electricity. First thing we put down is one of these. I want to let me, is it that? What the? I want to let me put this down. Oh, I know why. Because that's not what we want. This is what we want. First, let's see where the plug is for this thing. Huh. 
All right, so let's put this here. I'm going to move this out. And we're going to turn it. Just like that. I think we're going to need a, you know, we need a small circuit board. We're going to need two of those, actually. One for that and one for the battery pack. We're going to need three of those, I think, for the garage when we build it this thing is massive man it's really big but it looks cool and I'm just curious about these two these two bays that we have there that those are about all right now let's build the battery pack I'll lower that down a little more so it's easier to read. I'm going to connect the battery pack to this, and we're going to do that by hitting, whoop, hitting six, and we're going to go, whoop, and we're going to go, whoop, whoop, and whoop. Then we're going to move this to 100%. And then we are going to build some solar panels. So let's go here. Boom. I don't want them too close to this thing because I want them to be... I'm going to build the first one right off of it so I know exactly how far out I got to go. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. And now we can build off of this in either direction. I'm going to go boom, boom. So we've got some batteries going. We've got some, I mean, we have some solar panels going. Now the crazy thing is, is we're going to do this a little different than other things that we build for power. I'll show you why here in a minute. As soon as we get these done, not enough materials. Electronics. Let's go see if we can find some electronics. Nine per, so we need whatever we need left on that one. I think is three, and then nine, so we need twelve. Do we have any electronics in here? We don't. Running short on pipe too. Back in here. So we don't have any electronics. We can swap the engines out. We have plenty of aluminum plates. We're gonna need those when we build the garage. We got plenty of these. All right. So we need to go make some electronics, which is going to require silicone. Hopefully I left enough that we can make 12 of them. People are under pressure. External oxygen detected. People are under pressure. 
I was it's 13.30. First, let's stop at the botany thing. Inventory, let's put the potatoes in there. Now we have seeds in the potato thing. Okay. Try to keep this stuff squared away so we don't get messed up. 46, let's put that in there. I don't know. I don't know if we have any of those kind of materials here. We got a ton of these, of course. Nope. Let's see if we have anything in this one. We have some solar panels we can move over and some more aluminum plates. We can put this here. I don't know why we're not stacking these. They stack. There we go. We'll put this. There. Okay. So we just need some electronics. Printing. I've got to keep this episode short today. I've got some stuff I got to do this evening. So I'm trying to get a lot done in a short amount of time. There's the electronics. Can we make 12? Nope. But we can make 16. Let's do that. And we're out of silicone. Hopefully that's going to give us enough to finish that little project. And we'll be done with it. We're obviously going to need to get some more electronics. It's going to take a bunch to make that... The garage. Okay. Let's get this rock pressure going so we know what the heck it's about and what its pluses and minuses are. Alright, let's build this last one. Let's connect all this stuff up. So we've got four plugs plugged into this. What has this got now? It's got a 44, 42, whatever. Let's put some more batteries on this thing. Yeah. Good friends. Batteries. Bing. Hopefully I have enough to do this. These take electronics. We don't have enough electronics. <laughs> so let's take that back. Take this one back up. All right, so we'll leave this for now. Let's plug this in. What's going on here?
Yeah, I don't know why that's happening. So I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put connect the plug. Oh, it worked. Why isn't that working? Probably because I haven't sent anything out to it yet. We want to send 20 out to it. Whoa. What's going on? Capacity. Something's happening. Why am I doing negative capacity? Something's wrong here. Got 100% going out. It's 168. won't come down something's wrong so something's wrong here minus 112 minus I don't get it we have some kind of a problem there we're going to pick this up we're going to grind this freaking thing down. And then we're going to re put it down again. There's something's wrong with that. It should not be doing negative. Let's try plugging this in again. Let's see what this is saying now. Zero out of 225. Now I have to reconnect this. Now it says it's going out 100%. Got plus twenty. Okay, so it is charging now. So let's set this to twenty before we plug it up. I'm gonna actually change this to twenty-five. There we go. That way, we get a little extra to cover ourselves. Now, let's see what this thing is. Turn it off. Now, let's plug it in and see if maybe that helps. And then we'll hit the breaker and turn it on. Instead of stretching the cable like that, we'll walk it around like this. Lock it up like this, and then we'll plug it in. And now it's green and everything is working. All right. It's already 1800 almost, and we need to go to bed. But I want to take a look at this real fast and see what we got on here. Got blueprints in here. What the hell? Look at this. Holy cow, man. And it's going to tell us exactly what we need. We need 40 small pipe, 70 aluminum, 100 steel plate, 2 glass, 10 small engine, and 50 packs of screws. So we've got all these things in our inventory. It doesn't even, oh yeah, there's the electronics. It requires five electronics and it requires 45 cement. So I don't know if we need all that, but look at that. Everything's in this blueprint thing. The big antenna. Why isn't the big antenna in here? Three electronics, one small So it don't take a lot to build the big antenna. I'm going to be curious to see how that is. What about, the, oh, here's the anti-meteor system. 
Great Electronics. So we want to build like four of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten would be good because then we could put four down one side of the base, four down the other side of the base, and one at each end of the base. That would be 30 electronics. So we're going to have to go out and do some scavenging. Steel ramp with rail. Steel platform. Steel platform with rail. Look at this. Huh. What a trip. Lobby? Uh, what the heck is a lobby? Oh, there's a tipper. We can now make a tipper. What's that require? Isn't that something? in one tank there's a container there's a tanker hmm. there's the kilowatt power reactor uranium rods so this is blueprints this is decorations a wall sign what's I wonder what the wall sign does. There's a radio, there's plates, books, monitor, plate, laptop, plate, mug two, book 12, three, Rubik's cube, mug. It's not a whole lot in there. But this thing down here really has me kind of curious. What's the lobby? There's the canteen that we just did. But I wonder what the lobby's about and how that works. Where is the... What all do we need to that? Five electronics and 45 cement. I don't know if we have it on that. So I'm really tricked out about that. Oh, shoot, it got dark. <laughs> I was just like, woohoo, look at all the stuff we could do. That's great. We have to load the materials into the machine, I'm sure, which is why it's all showing red. Let's get inside before we die. People are under pressure. External oxygen detected. Sleep deprivation warning. Alert. Equalizing pressure. Good drink. Water refilled. Turn that off. Get our daily dose. Equalizing pressure. Go get our charge on. Suit. Recharged. Everything's done. Except for the oxygen, but I don't really care about the oxygen. Oh, pressure. All right. We need to eat. We'll eat one of the good ones so we can fill up real fast. We only have two concrete, so we need to figure out how to make that stuff too. So our food's good. Oxygen's good. Water's good. Let's sleep.
Pickle pressure. Um, what am I doing? We did unlock something, didn't we? I think it was in, was it in Botany that we unlocked? Yes. Passive compost generator. That's not what we unlocked then. I thought it was what it was going to be. Oh, improved composting? No, we had that already. Oh, ring is unlocked, so we can go do that. I want to get everything off, everything completed on these that we can while we're here, before we take off. I thought that's what we got. We did get slower withering, so we'll do that. Botany. Technology access level increased. Available point for technological advancement. Okay. Equalizing pressure. Got a drink. Equalizing pressure. Water refilled. I wish I knew what the heck this thing did. I know it does a buff, but I don't remember what it was. I'm going to do it and see if we can figure it out real quick. I think it does something to stamina or something. I don't know. Or not, I don't know. Kind of a pain of them in the butt because you have to do these doors. Maybe if the, the building's on fire, you could jump in there and turn the water on. Yeah, keep from getting burned up. I don't know. I don't know for sure. People are pressure. All right, let's go see how we're doing on our charging. And I think we're going to empty all this stuff out of here into the... Get a bunch of these out. I don't really want to waste a bunch of time on this. Because I know I have to end the series, I have to end the episode right around the one hour mark. Because I have, we're having a family gathering thing, and so I've got to go take care of that. I can't not take care of that, so it kind of sucks. Thinking about pulling that out and making it into a four way instead of a three way, and then running a corridor out to here, and then putting a three way here, and then have the shop go right here. The garage, I mean, and then we'll have a, an extra pipe to connect to something else, like maybe the lobby. I'd like to know what the lobby is, or the, or maybe even the uh, headquarters. People are under pressure. External oxygen detected. People are under pressure. Where are we at? Okay. I have so many circuit boards now. That is not a circuit board, is it? Yes, it is. But I think we're going to need three of those when we get ready. Three of the mediums when we get ready to. We got, we got the three. There's one. There's two. These are all small. We have more in the vehicle. Pressure. Drop this nitrogen off into here. I don't know why I was combining those. Whatever. 
Control our blood pressure. Control our blood pressure. Okay. Got about 10 minutes, 15 minutes until I have to sign off. So what else should I move out of here? Let's get a bunch of these, I guess. I'm just making room. I want to make room in the rover so that we have enough room to add more materials when we go back out right now. I want to leave that here. All right, so that's put us in a way better situation. That's emptied out quite a few of these, and so we should be able to do stuff when we're in the field because we're going to have to do a bunch of salvaging so that we can build things when we're traveling. Now, we have water holes that we can run to to get water that we don't have to build because they're already built. Where am I going? Or the storage bins. And as long as we're picking up food out there, I don't see any point in making or growing anything right now. Because we're going to be away so much. Okay. So that should be good. What time is it? It's 11.19. We can probably make it back to our first water hole. We leave now. I wish we could build the... garage, but we'll build that when we come back. And we get the whole power situation all stabilized. It's going to take more than four. We're going to want to build a, a really good power station for that garage so that we can do the... the Fast charging. Oxygen source. What's it looking external. like? Okay, so we're looking good. Let's open this back up. We gotta unplug this thing real fast. Looks like it's full. When I close the door, I bet it unplugged it. No, it didn't. Okay, so it's it's charged. So let's take this and let's charge this. Plug this back into. Not there. Uh, look at that light. Let there be light. That's stupid, because it'll only be light in the daytime. It won't light it at night. There we go. That's better. Because at least that's doing something. Antenna. Oxygen source, external. Rock and roll, man. I think it's huge. It's beautiful. Hey, that green dot, that green spot is where our water is at. We're going to go in that direction, and we're going to keep heading in that direction until we come to the seeds that we're looking for, which somebody said I was close to. We we're out 10,000 meters, so. They're talking kilometers, and I think kilometers is a lot farther than meters. If I have to go out 12 kilometers, that's going to be a long trip. Now, normally I would pause while I'm doing this traveling, but we're in the last few minutes of this video, and so I'm not going to pause it because then I wouldn't be able to record anymore. I'd be out of time because I have a specific time I've got to be somewhere to do something. So, But I want to get a video out for tomorrow. I'm going to be out late and stuff. When I get back, I'm going to probably want to go to sleep. So I want to complete this now. 
or at least start this journey now and we'll continue the journey in the next episode I will probably play some more tomorrow morning and I'll probably jump on tomorrow morning and travel us a good long distance so we're not spending any time really traveling anymore because we've been out this way already a couple times you guys kind of know what the terrain looks like or whatever it all looks pretty much the same everywhere except for when we got up into that snow area it was ice in the beginning and then it was snow you could see the snow-capped mountains and stuff next to us that was quite a ways but there's a crater up there too that we want to visit that's an achievement and it's the great ice crater or something like that so it must be some very gigantic crater or something i don't know I just know we're not going to go back the way we came because I'm not going through that rocky, bumpy, rough, rocky, rolly thing. That was just nuts. That's actually not our water source. That's actually the entrance to the cave, actually. Our water source is a little bit more this way. There's another one of the rises, the light tan rises that have the cave entrance in them. I can see it right there. You guys probably can't see it. But I get a better view, kind of, and so I can see where the entrance is right there. And those, all those places that look similar to that one, all when you see those little mounds out all by themselves, like the little maces, whatever, you just know that there's a cave on it somewhere. Uh, I don't want to go through here. Let's go down this way. Like this. Then we're going to go over this way like this. To avoid all that rough and riding stuff. And there are the, there is Olympus Mon, the Gigantor Mountain right there. I believe this is the way we came when we found the cave. The first cave, I mean. Not the one I showed you guys, but the other one that's small or whatever. Gotta check this thing for repairs. We may need to repair this thing. It's been taking a brutal beating lately. Yeah, see, we're still 1500 meters, 1400 meters from the entrance that I showed you. See, so we're on the, not on the opposite side, but we were around quite a ways from it. And I believe this is the way we went when we first saw this thing and came over to it. And I think we went right along this rock face here. And this is where we find the other cave. I'm pretty sure. The small one.
I think it was about 4,000 out from the Is that it? There it is. There's the small entrance here. I'm sure you guys remember this place. Yeah, see, this is the small entrance. I had to duck down to get inside. We haven't explored that all the way through yet. We're going to do that. I just want to kind of show you guys where it's at. It's compared to the other one. The other one's exactly on the opposite side of this. So it's like 1,329 meters away. Let's go ahead and stand up. We need to move because we got to get to water. Oxygen source. Already 1500. Let's see where we're at on the map. There is water sources around here somewhere. Yep, there's one right here. Make that one red. That one's about 1400 meters away. I think that's when we were at yesterday. Let's go. And it is 16.19, so not sure if we're going to have enough time to set up or to gather water, because I don't know if I've set... I think there's a water and an oxygen thing there, actually, at this one. It's going to all depend on the terrain and how hard it is to travel there. It'd be nice if it was all flat through here and we could just book it real quick. Oops. I'm wondering something real quick. We got this maxed all the way out. Everything's moved down to medium. Turn shadows off, that probably would help. So let's just go back to the game. I was looking what I was looking for was to see if I could expand my field of vision. 
Because people were always complaining that in the beginning, a couple weeks back, people were complaining that I was too zoomed in. I needed to zoom out, but I'm as far out zoomed as I could get. I could zoom in. Not while I'm traveling in the vehicle, though. So we're about 400 and we're about 400 meters from that water source. I don't want to ride this ridge right here so we don't end up in the drink. I didn't see anything there, so this I don't think we built anything on this one. Hopefully we got enough we can put a well in. We use a lot of materials. Build in that rock crusher and the other stuff. There's the water source. So yeah, we we picked up the whatever we had here. We used this for before. Picked it up. So we need to drop a well here if we can. We're not gonna have enough materials. We're not gonna Oh, we do. We did have the electronics. What do you know? All right, so we need to give it a minute. Certain we don't have enough for a saboteur. So it's where... I know we don't have the electronics, I'm sure. Not enough materials. Yep, we need another electronic and we don't have that, so we're gonna have to take that off. And because we don't have any electronics with us yet right now, we need to do some more scavenging for those. We don't want to do anything to the well, but we do want to get a drink because the drink will help us. Water refilled. Okay, so we got the water completely refilled. Let's see. Yep, both waters are good. What's the oxygen looking like? They look about the same, so I'm not going to mess with those. We do need food, though, and we are low, so we'll eat one of these. Which put us pretty close to the boat. Yep. We'll sleep till morning, and then we need to start scavenging some bases. Unfortunately, that's all the time I got for today. So we'll be doing that in the next episode. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Also hit the bell so you can get notifications and hit that like button. So that our video becomes more viewable by other people on YouTube. It's easier to, makes it easier to find. Also, um... The subscriptions are big. We're down to four, I think 46 maybe. We're down to needing only 46 more subscriptions to hit our goal. Once we hit our goal, we are going to give away a free copy of this game. And also, we're going to have a raffle for that. And also, that's going to be to register for that raffle. All you have to do is go to um, our Discord and register. Um I leave the Discord uh, invite in the description, so look for that, and hopefully we'll see you there. We don't have really any members there. I've got two good friends that are helping me with it, but they got their own lives and their own stuff, and so if uh, you have any troubles or issues, uh, send me and uh, mention it in the uh, comments, and don't forget to leave comments. We love the comments, so keep those coming. You guys are doing really good on that, and we really appreciate it. Anyways, this is Crazy with Crazy Gaming, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.